Hi everyone, welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today we're going to be kicking off the reviews for the Marvel Legends Man-Thing Builder Figure Wave with Bullseye. And we're going to be comparing it to the Toy Biz version right over here, and yes, that's just how I have him displayed on my shelf. Because when you have articulated fingers like that, you may as well put them to good use, am I right? So on the back here we have everyone else in the wave, and then we have a nice picture of Bullseye right there, and then a little bio just at the top. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. But just want to mention real quick, the Human Torch Walgreens exclusive figure is actually on its way to me from Kapow Toys. That is also where I got this wave of Marvel Legends from. Um, that is on its way. It will be here tomorrow, so expect the review for that coming very soon whilst I'm doing this wave as well. So, now let's go ahead and get this thing open. And here we have Bullseye out of the packaging, clearly being offended by the older figure who thinks he is still the better version, and he doesn't quite like that. We do have a standard head right here, which has a pretty stern look to it. You can still see that he is missing a tooth right there, which you can see more visibly over here on that head sculpt. Both look amazing, I have to say. Now, it is worth noting that the bullseye on his head is painted on right here, whereas there it is actually molded in because it is actually the scar on his head that then has the wash or the paint within it, which looks fantastic. The detail that's done in that mouth work and the paint work in there as well. Like I said, that bullseye, that scar looks fantastic. Uh, the lines around like the temples on his head, the above the eyebrows, the bridge of his nose, the cheekbones and everything. All of this you know, around the mouth. It just really, really does look fantastic. Amazing sculpt work right here. And here's a close-up look of the other head as well. Looking fantastic, but obviously much, much less detail on this thing than over here. I really, really do love this head. I do prefer him with the full suit on like this, but this just steals the show for me. And then down here you have a knife. It's the same knife that we get with the Bucky Cap and many, many other figures since then as well. As you can see, it nicely sits in the sheath on the back right there. And we also get a pistol down here as well, which I believe we've already got with possibly Nick Fury, I think, and maybe some other guys as well. And as you can see, it does not hinder articulation in any way because it's on that peg. And that's mainly why I think it is so that it can actually rotate there as opposed to, you know, stretching and pulling and, and stopping that from moving which I think is great. In terms of the hands, so we have a right hand over here that can hold either the knife or the gun. And then we have likewise for the other side as well. This hand is definitely my second favorite. Uh, it's basically, you know, a pretend gun, essentially pointing at someone and marking them for death pretty much. This is fantastic. But then this thing steals the show in, as far as the hands go. Yes, we do have some uh, marks on there from paint, but this is really, really great. The clear plastic here, you can obviously barely see it. It works really, really well. And just having those throwing knives there, I mean, they look fantastic. They're done really nicely themselves. Nothing is warped or anything. It just looks fantastic and definitely looks like he's just thrown them. Very dynamic and definitely the kind of accessory that I have been waiting for from Legends for a long, long time. So straightening the figures out, they both actually stand at about six and a half inches tall. They are the same height as each other. Uh, in terms of the bodies, over here we have um, it's a very very dark blue it isn't black it is extremely dark blue it looks black in low light uh, here with my intense lights on I can tell it's blue I'm not sure how it's gonna look out on camera but it, it is basically a very very dark blue almost black over here what we have is black with blue uh, sprayed over the top essentially now for the part around the neck, this has always annoyed me. Uh, it's essentially another piece that's pretty much glued on top. And it's very sloppy, it's never straight, and the black paintwork on it is pretty terrible as well. And then coming over here, honestly, they haven't done much of a better job. Both of them do actually have a butterfly joint, but because the paint goes onto the butterfly joints, it does break that paintwork up. Here, because it's a separate piece underneath it, that obviously doesn't change. So. In terms of articulation and how it looks when it's posed, this guy is better in different poses than this guy. And the paintwork over here is sloppy, as you can see. It doesn't have a very sharp edge right there. On the back, it does look kind of weird when you do start moving those arms around and they're in different positions. Neither of them look really, really bad, but neither of them are perfect either. Now, in terms of articulation, they pretty much have essentially the same articulation. This guy has more points because he has the articulated fingers. He has different jointed legs, but they can get pretty much in the same poses. He does have articulated toes down here, but you can't really use it for all that much. Apart from that, the figures can pretty much do exactly the same. So you've got your head that moves up, down, left, and right, and you get a little bit of pivot there as well. You've got your butterfly joint, which works really, really well. Rotation all the way around 
around in the shoulders that come out to the side. We have the rotation in the upper part of the arm, double jointed elbows, rotation there at the wrist, and then the hinge there as well. It's the same for all of the hands. And then over here we have a really good ab crunch and then we have the waist twist as well which is covered by the belt but you can move that around if you want to get more twist. Uh, the hips come out to the side, they go forward, back, rotation the upper part of the thigh, double jointed knees, rotation at the calf, the feet move up, down and have ankle pivot. Overall, I definitely think that this thing has taken the first place out of the two. The accessories that it comes with, you know, the interchangeable head, you still get the gun and the knife and, you know, the throwing knives over here on the hand and everything. And this is fantastic. You might be able, be able to interchange some of these hands with some other stuff so you can get these poses with some other figures. Um, this guy did have a variant as well, so that might be something you could look into. If you want that classic Toy Biz look and feel, this is still the figure to go for. But the new one, I feel, is pretty much better in every other way. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like, if you want to check out my Instagram and Twitter they're in the description below, it's homerino 123 for both. If you want to check out some other videos, check out what's on the screen right now and subscribe for more Marvel Legends. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.